everyone and welcome back to another video from Homemaker. In my previous video, you might have seen some of the toxic plants which must be kept away from the reach of children and pets if they love to play around with your plants. If you have not seen that video, I have left the uh, link in the description box. In this video, I will talk about some of the non-toxic plants which are perfectly safe to keep in your house where you have curious children and cheeky pets. So let's get started. Peperomias All peperomia varieties are safe and non-toxic to children and pets. The most common peperomias include baby rubber plant or peperomia obtusifolia, peperomia caparada roso, watermelon peperomia and many others. These are very low maintenance plants which can uh, survive in extremely low light conditions also. For more information on care and propagation of peperomia varieties, please check out the link in the description box. The next plant is Chlorophytum camosum or spider plant. These plants are also very easy to care plants. They are well known for their beautiful spiderets hanging from the mother plant. These plants are also excellent air purifiers and can tolerate extremely low light conditions as well. These plants look beautiful in pots, hanging baskets as well as even in plain water in glass, beautiful glass vases. Hypoestis phyllostachia or polka dot plants. These plants are known for their attractive striking foliage which comes in many different colors. These are pretty easy to care for plants and are beautiful, nice and compact which can be kept in any nook and corner of your house. The next one is wax plants or Hoya varieties. These plants are known for their thick waxy leaves and beautiful vibrant flowers. Hoya plants are considered safe to keep indoors and safe for children and pets. They come in many different varieties and are very low maintenance plants. Fetonia or nerve plants. These plants are attractive plants with dark green leaves with red, white or pink midwains. Nerve plants are, uh, can be grown in hanging baskets, they can be grown in pots or containers and even terrariums. Calatheas Calatheas are great indoor plants with dark broad leaves with different colors and variegations. These plants are perfectly safe to keep in indoor spaces with kids and pets around. Boston fern and bird's nest ferns are also considered non-toxic and they can give a lovely tropical feel when kept indoors. You can grow them in pots, hanging baskets or terrariums. Ferns are humidity loving plants and therefore makes um, make sure that you um, keep the soil moist but not soggy at the same time. Next is parlor palm or ponytail palms. Both these palms are completely safe to keep indoors. Parlor palms are also considered excellent air purifiers as they can help in removing some um, indoor air pollutants. These plants are very popular indoor uh, plants that makes the ambience more vibrant and lively. And same goes with the ponytail palm. You can also keep the lady palm in your house and it is also considered extremely safe for your children and pets. But just be careful with the sago palm because each and every part of sago palm is considered poisoning. I have mentioned the same in my previous video on toxic or house plants for children and pets. Next is air plants or Tillandsia plants. These plants are very easy to care for. They do not require any soil to grow. Just mist them with water from time to time and provide them with bright indirect light and they will be fine. 
There are many varieties of Tillandsia or air plants, so just provide them with the right growing conditions that they need and these plants are perfectly safe for children and pets. Orchids Orchids comes in all shapes, sizes and colors and are well known for their long-lasting flowers. These plants brighten up both indoor and outdoor spaces with their exotic touch. Some varieties of orchids are pretty easy to care for, whereas others are for experienced gardeners. African Violets These are small house plants that produce clusters of white, blue or purple flowers. These are very easy to care for plants and completely safe um, to keep um, in the houses where you have small children and pets around. So friends, these were some of the known poisonous plants that are completely safe um, to be kept indoors. But still, I would recommend you to keep um, these plants away from the reach of children and pets. Because we all know that all these plants are costly, they are expensive. They are expensive and we spend a lot of time, energy and money to grow them. And we don't want to give these plants to our children and pets to damage them. So still I would um, like to say that to keep these plants as well away from the reach of children or just teach your children and pets not to fiddle around with the plants and not to damage them. So friends, this was all about non-toxic or non-poisonous plants which you can keep in your house where you have small children and pets. If you like our video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting and informational videos. We'll see you next time with another informational video. Till then, take care, stay safe and happy gardening. Bye-bye.